When they lit the blighter up, what did it feel like? The sensation was not like, you see, TV of the shuttle, where when they lift off, they're bouncing around. This was very, very smooth. And really, the sensation of leaving the ground was barely noticeable. I think there was only 74 kilobytes of memory on the lunar module computer, less than on an early 1990s mobile phone. Well, this is the point where I pull out my iPhone. Yeah. And I say, you see this? Now, if I throw it in the air, can it make a star sighting? Can it compute exactly where it is and what's changing? And when it hits the ground, can it make a nice soft landing? No, but ours could. <laughs> yeah, we could do all that. There's a famous photograph of you standing by uh, the flag of the United States on the surface. Yeah. What was going through your mind at that point when it, you planted it in the moon dust? Made me feel for that ceremonial acknowledging and uh, and paying reverence to our flag, uh, that it was a very proud moment to, to be a part of that. When you got back, were you astonished by the, the immensity of it and the unity of it, that the, the Earth stood as one for a moment? Uh, well, we were in quarantine and we were debriefing. Um, and I guess there was a television, but I don't think we turned it on. I know you're a, you're, yeah. you're a big advocate of uh, putting a man on Mars, aren't you? What's your strategy yeah, for that? We were interested in seeing what missions could be done that, that would continue to uh, maintain the leadership that we certainly had obtained. Now, this coming July, it's not the Soviet Union and the United States. It's China. But if anything, it's China. But it's nowhere near as great uh, friction. And maybe that's an inspiration for us to begin to open up potential relations with China in low Earth orbit and beyond for human spaceflight, peaceful purposes. Our studio guest in London for this programme, Sissy Spacek, the, the actress, wants to know what you thought of the film Gravity. It had its realistic portions of that could happen, and then it showed very good scenes of... Uh, zero gravity conditions inside the spacecraft and Sandra would, did just a wonderful job with all of that tomorrow morning is the total eclipse here in the UK when people go out and look up at the moon tomorrow what would you like them to think Buzz been there done that <laughs> Brilliant. Been there, done that. Got the t shirt, amazing. And uh, you got your question in there as well. So that was I lovely. have more questions. <laughs> yeah. Do you've got any for us as the night goes on? Feel free. Now, mesmerising that film, and that was just Buzz's jewellery. It Remarkable. was great. And jewelry. if you do want to see more of Buzz and his jewellery, Stargazing Live yeah. is on tonight at nine o'clock on BBC Two. And don't forget, Professor Brian Cox and Dara O'Brien will also be covering the eclipse tomorrow morning as it happens from 9 a.m. on BBC One. We'll be out in the garden with the glasses on, won't we? I'll be in Norfolk for Country File, but oh, I will yeah. look up. Take them with you oh, well, in the yeah. case. Yeah, special. Um, <laughs> well, Sissy, we'll talk about your new project, Bloodline.